Before we lighten the load, let's go deep. Sky News reader Stephen Dixon has published a collection of poems entitled Love is the Beauty of the Soul, where he shows the side of him that the cameras don't often see. The book is out today on Amazon, and he joins us now on The Big Daily. Stephen, hello. Um, so the book is out today. Congrats on that. So it, it took you about 10 years to collect all these poems. Um, did it start off as a hobby, or was it always the end game to publish them? No, not at all. I started writing them, say, about 10 years ago and then just stored them on my computer and didn't really think anything about it. Oh, there's a cat. Hello. <laughs> you can't be a poet without a cat, let me just tell you. Um, and then I just I had a guest on my show who'd, uh, who'd got a book published and I just thought, I wonder if I should try. I, wonder if so. I thought I just sent them off to the uh, publisher and they, to my surprise, liked them, wanted a few more. And that was that. So it's been a bit of a surprise, really. So how often would you write poems? So you've been doing it for, for a bit now. But and what was, what was the, the sort of inspiration to get you to writing a poem in the first place? It's just something that comes into your head. So if I, if I saw something that just triggered a, a bit of a sort of a, a bit of rhyme in my head or, or something that, you know, it's an event of the day that just sparked something, then I sort of mulled it over for an hour or two. And then that was it, I'd get something down on paper. Um, but of course, because it's taken me 10 years and there's about 30 poems or thereabouts, I think, you know, I've not had to do it very often. It's not like I'm sitting down every day trying to write some poetry. It's just been as and when the mood has taken me. So it's been quite nice to be that relaxed about it. Well, you tweeted a while ago saying that you were quite, you were quite um, apprehensive about releasing this book and, and letting the public into your sort of your deeper soul. Um, why were you so scared? What were you scared of? Why, why were you so um, worried about putting yourself out there? Well, there's a lot of stuff in the book which is about sort of life and love and family and home and all these sort of things which are, which are very dear to me. Um, and it, it is a sort of glimpse into my soul, if you like, about how I actually think and how I actually work, which is a bit different to how you come across on TV. Um, and so it is quite, I mean, I was very nervous sending them to the publisher because it, it is like sort of exposing a little bit of yourself to someone. And then um, and then it being being published as well does mean that I, I, I am a little bit nervous about what people will actually think of the real me rather than, rather than just the me they're used to seeing on TV. Well, as a newsreader, you, you, you're you not encouraged to be too emotional or show too much opinion. <laughs> you have to be quite partisan. It's part of the job. Um, but, you, you know, you've, in your career, you've covered some quite difficult stories. I wonder how that's maybe affected your outlook and, and in turn, how you write poetry. Yeah, I think you're probably right there because we do have to keep a, an awful lot of stuff bottled up as a as a news presenter. Um, and so, I mean, you can express some of that at home or with friends, but a lot of the time you just keep it to yourself. And so I think it this ability to be able to be more honest, um, I mean, I'm, and I'm not writing about anything controversial. I'm not certainly not writing about politics or news or anything like that. But even so, that ability to to actually be yourself in a public forum, um, I, I guess it does. It balances out the two sides of my life in that sense. Uh, but, but again, that's partly why it's nerve wracking because people really feel that they know you from TV, and they do to an extent. But this is a side that, that other people haven't seen before, apart from sort of family and friends. And are you still writing? Are we, are we going to see another anthology from you in the future? Yeah, well, I hope so. If this one sells OK, um, I actually wrote one today. Just a friend of mine was texting me and it just prompted me to write a little sort of skit. But I think it's probably too, <laughs> I think it's too rude to publish. But even so, <laughs> But even stuff like that is quite nice just to sort of get something out there. But I've got, I've got one or two put away for the next book if I get one. Fantastic. Well, Stephen, um, working in the morning, uh, you, you obviously have a slight, you know, a bit of downtime in the later day. Does that give you a bit more time to flex your creative muscles? Yeah, a little bit, but you know what it's like, Jamie, in this business. I mean, I sort of get up at quarter to three in the morning and I'm finished. I'm sort of back home by midday, one o'clock, something like that. So I have a little afternoon snooze <laughs> and then get up in the evening. So maybe that's my creative time. Fantastic. Well, Stephen, good luck with the book. It's been great to talk to you. Stephen's book is out now on Amazon. Uh, go ahead and check it out. But why don't you get in touch with us on the show today on social media? All you have to do is use that all-important hashtag, The Big Daily.